I know Chiggs is in here recording this. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. Oh baby, we finally got action. Listen man, I'm all for the back and forth beef and hip hop as long as we stay away from the violent shit. Now it looks like we're finally getting a good back and forth diss track since Drake and Pusha T. After Megan Thee Stallion took a shot at Nicki Minaj on her song, Nicki has been going crazy on social media for the last three days. I think we finally found somebody that Nicki Minaj hates more than Cardi B. I'll be Megan Thee Stallion. Nicki has been going on Twitter rants violating Megan Thee Stallion. She added her on Twitter Twitter yesterday saying you scary ass pussy ass broke ass hoe scared of me putting the song out but trying to spar with the motherfucking queen now Nicki Minaj is accusing Megan Thee Stallion of trying to stop her this song from coming out Nicki used a beat from a producer called Lil Jew who works closely with Megan Thee Stallion and apparently he refused to clear the beat for her response to this she went on to say they said I was winning because I had no competition now these bitches so weak, they want no competition. I've seen a lot of weak shit in my career, but never in my life seen a Bigfoot call bitches pussy, say they won't respond, then tell her producer and management not to approve the beat. All because she can't stand to have real competition? This hoe is officially the weakest hoe that I've seen thus far. Any bitch that fuck a friend man is a jealous, insecure, bitter, funky butt cum rat. God damn, Nikki, throw the towel in, Megan? Now it continues, and Nicki Minaj is pretty hilarious for this, right? She posted this picture with the caption saying, Tomorrow, 3 p.m. PST, hashtag Bigfoot, with a picture of Megan Thee Stallion as well. So anybody seeing this would immediately say, Yo, Nicki Minaj is dropping the Megan Thee Stallion diss track. But no, for some reason, Nicki does not want this song Bigfoot to be branded as a Megan Thee Stallion diss track. She checked a blog called Pop Base that reported on it saying, Cover art for Nicki Minaj, Megan Thee Stallion, this track, Bigfoot. Nicki said, who the fuck said this track? Don't play tonight, fix your tweet. And you damn right, Pop Bass went and fixed their tweet. My guess is that because this track, Bigfoot, is going to be Nicki basically speaking her truth, she doesn't want it to come off as a diss track when all she's doing on the song is basically telling the truth. But I'm sorry, Nicki, we're gonna call this a Megan Thee Stallion diss track. Now, Nicki goes on to give more insight on the record. She said, yo, it's been ready for two days. Just just was trying to be cool and let her get her little streams in. Wasn't gonna say anything, but I remember how everyone kept my name in their mouth and how I said the next person mentioned my family gonna regret it. Damn, did Megan Thee Stallion just walk into the Nicki Minaj bait? By the way, they haven't ever heard the song. Who even said it was a diss? Never even knew I had this much power. They didn't charge her for the hot girl summer verse that I recorded the night she begged and begged to go on my live. But it's okay. My nigga Pluto, aka Future, charged her 250k for the verse. Nikki then goes on to say, after the first one drop, referring to Bigfoot, aka the diss song, if that pussy ass hoe so much as breathe the wrong way, I'ma empty the clip. If that pussy asshole deny one thing I say, I'm posting every fucking receipt known to man. Five, yes, you heard me, did five extra song. We been waiting on you, ho. Now, I thought this one was the ether. She responded to a fan saying that Megan Thee Stallion doesn't have anything to respond back to. Nikki said, you must be dumb like Bigfoot. Went to college and claimed she didn't understand her contract. Dumb bitch. This scary hoe and her team told the producer she's been fucking and sucking not to clear a beat and song I've had for 6 years when they were on dick begging me to use it. She doesn't want my song to come out. I posted the song weeks ago and I like different female rappers tweets who wanted to be a part of it. This non-talented Bigfoot who has no musical direction tried to beat me to it by asking Juju suck dick, god damn Juju caught it straight too, to make a beat for her by herself. But since Party left, the rap suck 10 times more it's like begging megan when she was on her third bottle of henny sipping through the straw she let her friend come on twitter and talk about the way her ex-best friend's newborn baby looks ask yourself why she don't want that song out after she just told people they wouldn't respond she knows it's the most attention her funky butt will ever get again in life and she doesn't want to have real comp Ask yourself why. Listen, man, I don't know about you guys, but I am looking forward to Bigfoot coming out. And Megan, you have to respond. You can't challenge other female rappers not to respond in your song to them. And when one responds, you go ghost. I'm expecting all kinds of disrespectful bars from Nikki, punchlines galore, maybe exposing other men Megan Thee Stallion has dealt with in the industry. 
You guys get in the comments below. Tell me what you guys think about what Nicki Minaj said. Are you guys looking forward to Bigfoot? Post your comments below. Real rap is back. Scratch my channel, like this video. I'll see you guys later, man. Guys, shop with my boy Chick Smooth at chicksmooth.shop.